Hello again, young explorers. Welcome to The Periodic Table, part two by WizKids Bites. In part one, we discussed the various families of elements present in the periodic table. If you haven't already watched that video, you might want to check it out. Let's get started with getting more in-depth with each element. Hydrogen, H. This is the first element on the periodic table. It's a gas that's lighter than air, and it can be used to make water when it combines with oxygen. Helium, H, E. This is the gas that we fill balloons with to make them float. It's also used in airships. Lithium, L, I. Lithium is a soft, light metal. It's used in batteries like the ones in your toys. Beryllium, B, E. Beryllium is a hard, light metal. It's used to make parts for airplanes and satellites. Boron, B. Boron is used to make a kind of glass called borosilicate glass, which can handle really hot and really cold temperatures. Carbon, C. Everything that was once alive contains carbon. It's also in things like coal, and it's what diamonds are made of. Nitrogen, N. Nitrogen is a gas that's all around us in the air we breathe. It's used to help plants grow. Oxygen, O. Oxygen is also in the air we breathe. We need it to live. Fluorine, F. Fluorine is used to help keep our teeth strong. It's in toothpaste. Neon, N, E. Neon is a gas that's used to make colorful lights and signs. Sodium, N, A. Sodium is a soft metal. It's used in table salt, which we use to make food taste better. Magnesium, M, G. Magnesium is a light metal. It's used in fireworks to make a bright white light. Aluminium, A, L. Aluminium is a lightweight metal. It's used to make soda cans. Silicon, S, I. Silicon is used to make computer chips. It's also found in sand at the beach. Phosphorus, P. Phosphorus helps plants grow, so it's used in fertilizers. Sulfur, S. Sulfur is used to make matches and in some medicines. Chlorine, Cl. Chlorine is used to keep swimming pools clean. Argon, A, R. Argon is a gas that's used to fill light bulbs. Potassium, K. Potassium is important for our bodies. It's found in foods like bananas. Calcium, C, E, A. Calcium helps us have strong bones and teeth. It's in milk and cheese. Scandium, S, C. Scandium is a metal that's used in some kinds of lamps that make light. Titanium, T, I. Titanium is a very strong metal. It's used to make things like bicycles and airplanes. Vanadium, V. Vanadium is a metal that's used to make strong steel for cars and buildings. Chromium, C, R. Chromium is used to make things shiny, like the chrome on a car. Manganese, M, N. Manganese is used in making batteries and in steel production. Iron, F, E. Iron is a strong, heavy metal. It's used to make things like cars and buildings. Cobalt, C, O. Cobalt is a hard, shiny metal. It's used to give a beautiful blue color to glass and ceramics. Nickel, N, I. Nickel is a shiny, silver-like metal. It's used in coins and batteries. Copper, C, U. Copper is a reddish-brown metal. It's used for wiring in houses because electricity can pass through it easily. Zinc, Z, N. Zinc is used to prevent rust on iron and steel. It's also important for our bodies and is found in foods like meat and beans. Gallium, G, A. Gallium is a soft metal. It's used in electronic devices like smartphones. Germanium, G, E. Germanium is used in things like solar panels and fiber optic cables, which help us use the internet. Arsenic, A, S. Arsenic is used in wood preservatives to protect it from insects and fungi. But be careful, it can be dangerous if not used correctly. Selenium, S, E. Selenium is important for our bodies and can be found in foods like fish and nuts. Bromine, B, R. Bromine is used to keep swimming pools clean, just like chlorine. Krypton, K, R. Krypton is a gas that's used in some types of light bulbs. Rubidium, R, B. Rubidium is used in some types of batteries and in fireworks to give them a purple color. Strontium, S, R. Strontium is used in fireworks to give a bright red color. Yttrium, Y. Yttrium is used in making TV screens and in some types of light bulbs. Zirconium, Z, R. Zirconium is used in making strong, heat-resistant materials. Niobium, N, B. 
Niobium is a metal that's used in making strong steel for things like pipelines. Molybdenum, M-O. Molybdenum is used to make strong steel for cars and buildings. Technetium, T-C. Technetium is used in medicine to help doctors see inside the human body. Ruthenium, R-U. Ruthenium is a metal that's used in some types of electronics. Rhodium, R-H. Rhodium is a metal that's used to make jewelry shiny and resistant to scratches. Palladium, P-D. Palladium is used in cars to help reduce harmful emissions. Silver, A-G. Silver is a shiny metal used in jewelry and coins. It's also used in some types of electronics. Cadmium, C-D. Cadmium is used in batteries like the ones in your toys. Indium, I-N. Indium is a soft metal used in things like touchscreens on tablets and smartphones. Tin, S-N. Tin is a soft, shiny, silver-like metal. It's used in cans to store food. Antimony, S-B. Antimony is used in some types of batteries and in fireproofing materials. Tellurium, T-E. Tellurium is used to color glass and ceramics. It's also used in solar panels. Iodine, I. Iodine is important for our bodies and is found in foods like fish and dairy products. It's also used to clean small wounds. Xenon, X, E. Xenon is a gas used in some types of lamps and in flashlights for cameras. Cesium, C, S. Cesium is used in atomic clocks, which are the most accurate clocks in the world. Barium, B, A. Barium is used to help doctors see inside our bodies during certain medical tests. Lanthanum, L, A. Lanthanum is used in camera and telescope lenses. Cerium, C, E. Cerium is used to polish glass and in some types of lighters. Praseodymium, P, R. Praseodymium is used to make certain types of glass and ceramics. Neodymium, N, D. Neodymium is used in powerful magnets that can be found in things like headphones and computer hard drives. Promethium, P, M. Promethium is used in some types of batteries. Samarium, S, M. Samarium is also used in certain types of magnets and in some medicines. Europium, E, U. Europium is used in TV screens and fluorescent lights. Gadolinium, G, D. Gadolinium is used in TV screens and in some types of medical imaging. Terbium, T, B. Terbium is used in some types of lamps and TV screens. Dysprosium, D, Y. Dysprosium is used in some types of magnets and lasers. Holmium, H, O. Holmium is used in some types of magnets and in medical lasers. Erbium, E, R. Erbium is used in some types of lasers, including those used in medicine. Thulium, T, M. Thulium is used in some types of medical imaging. Iterbium, Y, B. Iterbium is used in some types of lasers and in certain medical treatments. Lutetium, L, U. Lutetium is used in some types of medical imaging and in cancer treatment. Hafnium, H, F. Hafnium is used in control rods for nuclear reactors. Tantalum, T, A. Tantalum is used in electronic devices like phones and computers. Tungsten, W. Tungsten is used in light bulb filaments because it can handle high temperatures. Rhenium, R, E. Rhenium is used in jet engines and in some types of thermometers. Osmium, O, S. Osmium is one of the heaviest metals and is used in some types of pen tips and electrical contacts. Iridium, I, R. Iridium is one of the least reactive metals and is used in some types of spark plugs and in medicine. Platinum, P, T. Platinum is a shiny, silver-like metal that's used in jewelry and in cars to reduce pollution. Gold, A, U. Gold is a shiny yellow metal that's used in jewelry and coins. Mercury, H, G. Mercury is a silver-like metal that is liquid at room temperature. It's used in some thermometers but needs to be handled carefully because it can be harmful. Thallium, T, L. Thallium is used in some types of electronics and in some medical procedures. Lead, P, B. Lead is a heavy, soft metal. It was once used in paint and pencils, but we found out it can be harmful, so we don't use it for those things anymore. Bismuth, B, I. Bismuth is used in some medicines for your stomach and in some cosmetics. Polonium, P, O. Polonium is used very carefully in some types of laboratory work. Astatine, A, T. Astatine is used in some special medical treatments. 
Radon, R, N. Radon is a gas that we can't see or smell. It's important to make sure we don't have too much of it in our homes, as it can be harmful. Francium, F, R. Francium is used in some types of scientific research. Radium, R, A. Radium was once used to make clock hands glow in the dark, but we don't use it for that anymore because it's harmful. Actinium, A, C. Actinium is used in some types of medicine. Thorium, T, H. Thorium is used in some types of lanterns and could be used to make electricity in the future. Protactinium, P, A. Protactinium is used in some types of scientific research. Uranium, U. Uranium is used to make electricity in nuclear power plants. Neptunium, N, P. Neptunium is used in some types of scientific research. Plutonium, P, U. Plutonium is used in some batteries for spacecraft and in nuclear power. Americium, A, M. Americium is used in smoke detectors to help keep us safe. Curium, C, M. Curium is used in some types of scientific research. Berkelium, B, K. Berkelium is used in some types of scientific research. Californium, C, F. Californium is used in some types of medical treatments and to find oil in the ground. Einsteinium, E, S. Einsteinium is a heavy metal named after the famous scientist Albert Einstein. Scientists mostly use it for research. Fermium, F, M. Fermium is another heavy metal used mostly for research. It's named after the scientist Enrico Fermi. Mendelevium, M, D. Mendelevium is named after Dmitri Mendeleev, who created the first version of the periodic table. Like the others, it's used mostly for research. Nobelium, N, O. Nobelium is named after Alfred Nobel, the person who started the Nobel Prizes. It's used mostly for research. Lorentium, L, R. Lorentium is another element used mostly for research. It's named after Ernest O. Lawrence, a physicist who invented a special kind of microscope. Rutherfordium, R, F. Rutherfordium is named after Ernest Rutherford, a scientist who studied atoms. It's also used mostly for research. Dubnium, D, B. Dubnium is named after the town of Dubna in Russia, where it was first made. Like the others, it's used mostly for research. Seaborgium, SG. Seaborgium is named after Glenn T. Seaborg, a scientist who helped discover many elements. It's also used mostly for research. Borium, BH. Borium is named after Niels Bohr, a scientist who studied atoms. It's also used mostly for research. Hassium, HS. Hassium is named after the German state of Hesse. It's used mostly for research. Meitnerium, MT. Meitnerium is named after Lisa Meitner, a scientist who studied nuclear physics. It's used mostly for research. Darmstadium, DS. Darmstadium is named after the city of Darmstadt in Germany, where it was first made. It's also used mostly for research. Röntgenium, R, G. Röntgenium is named after Wilhelm Röntgen, who discovered X-rays. It's also used mostly for research. Copernicium, CN. Copernicium is named after Nicholas Copernicus, a scientist who said that the Earth moves around the Sun. It's used mostly for research. Nihonium, N, H. Nihonium is named after the Japanese word for Japan, Nihon. It's used mostly for research. Fluorovium, F, L. Fluorovium is named after Georgi Fluorov, a Russian physicist. It's used mostly for research. Muscovium, M, C. Muscovium is named after the city of Moscow in Russia. It's used mostly for research. Livermorium, L, V. Livermorium is named after Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in the United States. It's used mostly for research. Tennessee, T, S. Tennessee is named after the U.S. state of Tennessee. It's used mostly for research. Oganesson, O, G. Oganesson is named after Yuri Oganesian, a scientist who contributed greatly to the discovery of super heavy elements. It's used mostly for research. And that, curious minds, wraps up our fascinating journey through the world of the periodic table. Each element tells a unique story and plays a part in the incredible universe around us, from the air we breathe, the gadgets we use, to the food we eat and beyond. Remember, knowledge is all around us, waiting to be discovered. We hope you've enjoyed this journey as much as we have. If you found this video interesting and educational, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell 
so you won't miss our next adventure through the world of knowledge. Until then, keep exploring, keep learning, and never stop being curious about the world around you. Because curiosity today can lead to world-changing discoveries tomorrow. See you in our next video. Remember, the journey of discovery never ends. Let's continue to explore together.